on us one more again to gather uh, with our brothers and our sisters, God. We ask you to bless the speaker today. Bless your scriptures, God, that your word will not return void, God. We just thank you. Is there any sickness, God, we ask you to heal in the name of Jesus, God. We ask you to have the leadership to continue to lead us in the way that you would have them to go. And God, we just thank you. We bless you. We praise you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, this we ask and this we pray. Amen. 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 Is Sharon Burnett on the line? Sharon Burnett, or can I have someone that would like to uh, open us up with Article 41? Article 41, it shall be the duty of each member to render aid and assistance to brother or sister members in cases of illness, death, or distress, and in every way acquit her himself as a loyal and devoted member of the International Union that is part of the foundation of the chaplaincy program found in our UAW Constitution, Article, I'm sorry, UAW Constitution 41, Section 2. Thank you, Marcia. Thank you. And with with that, we'll open up for our international reps. It's Bill Eady on the line. Bill Eady or moving on to Jerry Carson. Thank you, Connie. I want to bring greetings from President Ray Curry and Vice President Director Chuck Browning and the entire International Executive Board. I want to thank you, chaplains, for all you do in your place of work, in our union, in the community, and with and for your families, being a salt and light, meeting people where they are, and letting them see the, the, the love of Christ in you. Just awesome. Um, today we're celebrating Women's Day, and honestly, I'm going to back up and get off here and, and get fed by these mighty women of God. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. Been looking forward to it all morning. Been very busy on working on the chaplaincy conference and reaching out to all the regions, and it, everything is coming together, and, and it's going to be a powerful conference, like five weeks away. It's coming in a hurry. Love you, chaplains. I'm going to turn it back over to Connie, and then at, I know the last 10 minutes we'll have some more discussion once we get off the, the, the WebEx and, and being fed and being uplifted by these mighty women of God. Thank you. Thank you, mighty women, and what you do for, 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 for God and for us, encouraging one another. Love you, and I'm going to turn it back over to Connie. All right. Thank you, Jerry. Love you. And Herb Taylor. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, uh, just want to encourage all of the brothers. Uh, let's try to sit tight and let the ladies, the women, the little babies do what they're <laughs> going to do this morning. And we'll have time for discussion as Jerry said afterwards. But I just want to make sure that the women's of chaplaincy uh, realize that they are very needed, especially during this season. Uh, there's nothing like a, a, a woman uh, love, compassionate, to ease, a lot of tension inside our plant. A woman can do what a brother can't do. And a brother can do what a woman can't do. We need each other. But sometimes it calls for a lady's touch. Just want to encourage the women. Thank you, Connie. All right. Th thank you, Herb. And with that, we're going to go over just uh, to let all make sure that all the women know that on Tuesday at Black Lake, which I do believe that will be the 3rd of May, will be a Ladies' Day breakout. And at that breakout, the theme will be navigating, navigating this journey. We will have 
three speakers and a couple of singers. Uh, we're going to have a really good time. We are asking the ladies to wear purple. Purple is the color for um, the women's women's year this year. Purple. Uh, and we are expecting and asking that you pray that the anointing of God will ab abide and his purpose will be fulfilled for that conference. And with that, we're going to go ahead and, and ask the ladies to pray. I'm going to ask if Jesse Moore would open us up in prayer and we're just gonna let it continue to flow. Jesse Moore. Good morning, Connie. I'm at work, so oh, okay. I'll, okay. Do a, <laughs> I'll do a brief prayer, okay? Yes, that's fine. I don't know if it's too noisy. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Father, there's no other Father. We come knowing that you are Almighty God, Father, and that you hear and answer prayer. So, Father, I just ask that you create in us a clean heart, a renew a right spirit, Father. Let us worship you, Father. And let us just lift you up and glorify you, Father. We put you on this display today because you are worthy of our praise. Father, we thank you for this time. And we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, I come to you, Lord, asking you forgiveness of our sin, dear Father God. Thank you so much for what you're doing in each and every last one of our lives. Thank you for allowing the obstacles that we have faced to build us up to be able to be who you have called us to be. Continue to touch our eyes that we may be able to see, touch our heart that we may be able to uh, receive, and touch our hands that everything that we may touch be blessed, dear Father God. Continually to allow the things that are speaking from our tongue that is edifying you, and not only that, bring healing and deliverance unto others. Thank you for using us in such a way of speaking with faith, believing by faith that you will use us to be able to um, be used as working as miracles and wonders. So I thank you right now for doing the things that you're doing in each and every last one of our lives. Have your way and let your will be done. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Sister Jessie uh, could you mute your phone, please? Thank you. Father, this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice in it. Father, we thank you for allowing us to gather together on this Zoom, on this line one more time, Father, to bring you glory, to bring you honor, and to give you praise, Father, in all that we do and say. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy that allowed us to wake up this morning, Father. And after allowing us to wake up, Lord Jesus, you allowed us to be in our right minds, Father. You gave us the activities of our limbs this morning, Father. And it was nothing that we've done so good that deserve your blessings. But, Father, it was because of your mercy and your grace, and we thank you for it, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we give you permission to have your way in our lives in the name of Jesus. And, Father, we ask that you would create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us ears to hear you, God, and a heart and a mind to obey in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to be doers of your word and not hear us only in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your strength in this season, Father. We ask that you would increase our faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to stand on your word, God, and not lean to our own understanding, Father, but to lean on you and to acknowledge you, Father, and to say yes to your will and your way, Father, in the midst of every storm, God. Keep our eyes focused on you, God. Help us to keep our eyes focused on you today, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, your word says that you would never leave us and that you would never forsake us. So, Father, help us not to leave you, God. Help us not to forsake you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the saints all day long, God. You are worthy to be praised. And we thank you today, God. Thank we you, Lord. Thank you for our families today, God. We thank you for blessing our loved ones today, Father. 
Father, we thank you for having mercy on our enemies today, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Heavenly Father, we ask that you would touch and heal and save Putin, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch his heart today, Father. It's not too hard for you, God. Is there anything too hard for God? No. Nothing too hard for you, God. Nothing. And Father, we ask that you would touch his heart, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, as only you can, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you would make the crooked ways straight in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, help us to look beyond others' fault, God, and see you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because one day, Father, we were in sin, Father, and we needed somebody to look beyond all of our faults. And yes. to see what we could be in the mighty name of Jesus. And yes. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. We Hallelujah. thank you today, God. You are an awesome God. You Hallelujah. are an awesome God. Worthy to be praised, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for your strength in this season, God. A yes. season that I've never been in before, God. But I thank you. I thank you, God, for carrying us through, God. Through all the hate, all the pain, all the yes. sickness, God. And even all of the death, God. You have seen fit to keep us. And we say thank you. We yes. say thank you. We can't thank you enough, God. But we want to try, Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly yes. Father, creating us a clean heart. And we knew the right spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, today, God. Let what we do and say bring glory and honor to your name, God. Help us not to give the enemy praise, God. No matter what it feels like, no matter what it looks like, Father. Yes. Help us to say yes to your will, Father. Yes. And yes to your way, Father. Because ultimately you have the last say so in everything, Father. Yes. And we thank you today, God. Bless yes. each and every one that's on the line today, God. Bless Amen. our families today, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bound Amen. the enemy today, God, in the Amen. name of in the Jesus. Name of Jesus. And we thank you today, God. We thank Amen. you and we praise you today, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let me let me interrupt the prayer um, with a divine delay. I know our leader, Bill Eady, is on the call, and his schedule is such to where uh, God uh, got him. But we want to acknowledge him, and we're going to continue the prayer. Uh, going on, Brother Bill, good morning. Good morning, chaplains. Uh, it, I just found today was the day that I needed to get on the call and acknowledge our great women of the UAW chaplaincy program. I am, uh, once again, it's an honor and a pleasure to be on the call. Uh, but first and foremost, I wanna bring you uh, greetings from my president, Ray Curry, our vice president, Chuck Browning and the entire international executive board. As you can see, I got my mask on. I'm in a conference right now. I'm in a leadership conference. And uh, and but I just wanted to take the time out to, to to at least listen to what was taking place on today, as I know the the the, the great women of the UAW chaplaincy program uh, program are going to have a great prayer session today, and I just wanted to hear what was what was being said so that I could be blessed. Um, I want to thank everybody. Uh, you know, my time is limited because I'm on somebody else's schedule today. I'm not on my own schedule, but I just wanted to make sure that I, I did take the time to get on the call. Say God bless you to everybody. I love everybody, and I'm going to listen while I can. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Women's of Chaplaincy, uh, I want to thank you all for allowing us to recognize our leader so he could recognize the leadership of the UAW. As he said, he's in a conference, a leadership conference. So let me take liberty while I have the floor um, to uh, install here a divine delay and ask that, uh, Connie, with your permission, please. I want to ask Pastor Elaine Walker to pray for this leadership uh, right now. 
particularly Bill Eady and Jerry Carson. Could you do that for us, uh, Sister Walker? And after Helene prayer, please, ladies, join back in and uh, continue the prayer. Sister Walker, Pastor Walker. Father God, we come right now acknowledging our leadership, our president, vice president, and we acknowledge Bill Eady, Jerry Carson, and all of those that are at that conference. Uh, we don't know what it's all about, but we do know that if you are a part of it, that it would be mighty, it would be awesome. We know that if you are a part of it, and if you impart your wisdom, is that the leaders of the UAW can carry on uh, with high power, a power that's coming down from you. So Father God, we pray that you act touch every soul, every mind that's there. Give them the understanding, the knowledge, and the know-how, how to be good leaders, how to lead in a way that would benefit everybody in a powerful way. We thank you, oh God, that we can lean and depend on you in times like this. Father God, we realize that some of them had to travel in their cars, maybe bad airplane or whatever, but we are praying, God, that you give them traveling grace, that you guide them along the way, that you protect them, that you lead them, then guide them, and you cover them, oh God, because there are a lot of people that hate on leadership for some ungodly wisdom, reason, I don't know why, but Father God, they need your protection, and those that are weak, those that don't understand, and those that get weary, help them, give them strength to continue on, to fight on for justice for the people, it's all about the people, Father God, they're representing the the people. Give them the courage to not look at the naysayers, not look at the ones that are trying to stab in the back, not look at the ones that are uh, in contra contrary to what they're trying to do, to get past that and to look only at you as you continue to lead them and guide them. Give them the strength, oh God, because they have their own families, they have their own lives and their own situations to take care of it, but they stepped away from it in order to help somebody else that need help even probably more so than they do. So, Father, help them. They're serving. Yes. It's not just the chaplains that serve. Our leaderships are serving, and they've been serving for a lot of years. Some yes. of them have been serving for 20, 30 years and more and some of them have served be behind their fathers and uncles and forefathers they're standing on the backs of somebody to continue this fight for justice to yes. continue to fight for unity and, and peace and the things yes. that they need in order to survive they're not fighting for themselves they're yes. fighting for other people so father god that's why we take the time and pray for them we lift them up yes. and, and give them encouragement and not continue to stab at them about the things that they are doing and not yeah. doing. Father God, give them grace, give them mercy, help them, God, to continue on. It's not easy. It's not easy to serve people that sometimes don't even appreciate you. It's not easy to serve people at all, God. But Father God, with you, <laughs> with just a little bit of your wisdom and a little bit of your strength will go a long way. So yeah. Father God, pour all over them. Wrap your arms around them. And then, Father, they will have strength to continue on. And then you, God, will get the victory. Because they say, they would say, it must have been God that got yeah. us through this one. Because this was a difficult one. This was a real hard one. But God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, God. We love you. And really, 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 Lord, as as Bill Eady and Jerry Carson lead the way as chaplains out there yes. for their leadership, <laughs> give them an extra dose. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Some of the leaders might not know the God that they serve. Yes. So help them, God, to lead the way. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Father God, we Amen. love you, God. God, Amen. we praise your name, God. God, we ask for your forgiveness on today, God. God, we lift up the leadership of this UAW, God. And God, I ask for a special blessing, God, on today for our women, active women, God, that are in our locals today, God, that are in leadership role, God. God, we pray that all the women that are in leadership roles, God, God, I pray that you will continue to strengthen them, God. And God, I pray against any misunderstandings 
any abuse, any neglect that they may have endured or God that they thought they may have endured, any misunderstandings, God. Father God, I ask that you strengthen them on today, God. Father God, and then we pray, God, for our retirees, God. God, yeah. that have paved the way for us on today, God. God, we thank you for the time that they've put in, and we love you, God. Oh, we God, we you. lift up the entire UAW International staff, all of the leadership. God, we pray for the entire UAW as a whole, God. God, we ask that you bless each and every chaplain that's on this call today, those that had a desire to be on it, but were unable to be here. God, we just ask that you continue to help us and to hold us, God. God, to continue to do your work. Oh, God. God, I cry out, God, Thank for you. our women of the UAW. God, that you would just be with them. Oh, God, we love you. We praise you. Oh, God, and we magnify your name. Yes. Touch their hearts, God. That's Strengthen right. them at the various work sites. Yes. God, any misunderstandings, God. We ask that you restore those relationships. Oh, God, it's in Jesus' name that we pray. God, we can't do nothing without you. But God, we know that with you, God, we can do all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Kind, gracious Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we come thanking you for yet another day that we've never seen before and never see again. But we thank you because this is a day, another day that you made. You made them all, Lord, but another day that you allowed us to be able to get up and be able to come on this line as the Women's Day, be able to come on the line and give you all the praise and all the glory, Lord. You've already heard the prayers that's already went forth, Lord. And we thank you right now, Father, because we know that you hear and you answer prayers. So we thank you right now, Father, because we know the prayers are being answered as we speak, as I speak right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to watch over us. Continue to keep our leadership Oh, Father, keep on touching them, keep on leading them, keep on guiding them, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we ask you to touch the President of the United States right now, Lord, as he go forth and trying to do things to help what's going on in the world, Father. You have the whole world in your hand, Lord. So you know what's going on, Father, and we know we have to have patience because it's all in your timing. What's going to happen next? But we thank you right now, Father, because we know you made it and everything is in your hands. Everything is yours so you can fix whatever your will be done. We're thanking you right now, Father, asking you to touch all the sick and the shedding and all over the world, Lord. Touch the bereaved families right now, Father. We have people that's going to funerals today, Lord. I ask you to be, be there, comfort them, Lord. Strengthen them as they go through today, Lord. We're praying in the name of Jesus, Father, for everybody that's on this line. Not only the women, but the men too, Lord. They need your help just as well as we women need your help. Continue, Father, to bless and touch my body as I get stronger every day. It's in Jesus' mighty name I ask these and all blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come to your throne of grace, lifting up the workers, Lord God. Those that are struggling on paying their bills and those that are afraid of being laid off and losing jobs and those that don't know you, those that are just on the borderline of giving up. Lord God, I ask you to give them strength, give them courage. And then, Lord, I ask that you loose your angels to give them divine hope answers to their problems in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you give them a light at the end of that tunnel. All they can see is darkness all around them and they don't know what to do at this time and this moment. And they're about to let go. I ask you, Lord, to strengthen them right now. Those that are 
touching the actual automobiles, putting them together. I ask you to touch them. Make it clear, Lord God, that you are with them. I know they may not understand what's really going on or what the bottom line is going to be, but I thank you, Lord, for just giving a touch so they'll know that they've been touched. Somebody touched them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we're praying for your spirit to flow throughout these plants so that they can concentrate, so that they will not be hurt. In the name of Jesus, Lord, keep your hand on them. Touch their minds, Lord God. Clear their minds so that they can do their work and then so that they can understand that things are going to get better. May not see it right now, but it's going to happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Well, Heavenly Father, we come to you today, oh God, giving you thanks for who you are, for allowing us to come on this prayer line and pray together and lift up one another in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray the blood of Jesus over every uh, UAW family, Lord, active and retired. Oh God, you know their needs and their shortcomings and Lord, all the things that they stand in need of, all the guidance that they need, Lord, the faith that they need to build up, oh God. And Lord, we give you thanks for uh, the children, oh God. We ask your blessings on them as they go to and from school in their various locations. We pray for the extended families, Lord. We pray for the bereaved among us, oh God, that have lost loved ones or those that have uh, sick loved ones in the hospital, oh God, those that are uh, overcoming and those that are being healed, oh God. We pray even for those of us, oh God, that have experienced some sort of surgery or uh, medical issue, oh God, that we're recovering from and going on, pressing towards the mark on the high calling of Christ. And Lord, we pray for our leadership. We pray for those in the international uh, e-board as well as the locals and the various e-boards among them, oh God. Lord, you know what this country stands in need of in this world, oh God. So, Father, we come to you. We pray for those uh, Ukrainians that live in the United States who have loved ones in Ukraine that they uh, maybe have lost touch with them, oh God, because of the dislocation and the uh, bombing and things that are going on. But, Lord... We ask that you comfort each and every individual, oh God, that uh, is there, oh God. We pray for those that have lost their children, oh God, in this horrible situation, oh God, and the bombing, oh God. We pray, oh God, you said pray for our enemies, Lord. We pray uh, now, oh God, for this sick individual that is doing the things that he's doing to the people of Ukraine, oh God, and their freedom is in jeopardy, oh God freedom to uh, worship, freedom to have their own leadership, freedom to have their own country. Lord, he has demolished the whole entire areas, oh God. No home, no place to live, oh God. We pray for those that are trapped underneath the ground, oh God, that somehow that they will be uh, brought up from there and that no one will lose their life or suffocate to death, oh God. But Lord, we just pray for all the things that uh, people are challenged with this day, oh God. And we give you thanks, Lord. We thank you, oh God, for how you intervene. We thank you, oh God, for your mercy and your grace upon all of our lives, oh God. You don't have to do it, but Lord, you watch over us as we sleep. You raise us up with sound mind and activity of our limbs. And Lord, those that uh, have loved, loved ones, oh God, that are struggling mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, oh God. And we just give you thanks, oh God, and Lord, we touch and agree with those prayers that have already gone forth, oh God. And we give you thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we come before you humbly. We come here as we can be in a holy presence, Lord. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for continuing to equip and empower us to do your work, Lord. I just thank you for the leadership. I thank you for the opportunity to serve others. And I just ask that you would strengthen us by your word, that our deeds 
would be in truth and that our hearts would be in purity. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hold on, just a little while longer. Hold on, just a little while longer. Hold on, just a little while longer. And everything gonna be all right. Pray on, just a little while longer. Pray on, just a little while longer. Pray on, yes, just a little while longer, and yes. everything gonna be alright. <laughs> I know it seems yes life's been holding on forever. Yeah. But that's just a trick of the enemy. Yes, Lord. Just rest assured that when your change comes, that it'll be right on time. But we got to pray on yeah a little while longer hallelujah pray on. amen a little while longer yes. pray on yes a little while longer and everything's gonna be all right hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. God. Father God, we come thanking you and praising you for who you are. Lord God, we lift you up today because you are worthy to be praised. Yes. Lord God, if, it, if we had 10,000 tongues, Lord, we couldn't thank you enough. Couldn't thank you enough for who you are. For you are great. You are our God and whom we place all of our trust. Father, we thank you that you allowed us to see another day, how you allowed us to come together and usher up prayers of thanksgiving and prayers of petitions up to you. Father God, you are our help. All our help comes from you, O oh Lord, and we thank you for this opportunity. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for the leadership that's on this line, the leadership of the men and women in total, oh God, we thank you. Father God, we thank you how you use them, how you give them wisdom and knowledge on what to do and how to do and when to do, oh God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for the UAW chaplaincy, oh God, how you have blessed it, blessed it and how you have increased it, oh God. We thank you, Lord. Father God, we thank you how you use each and every one of us for your glory, oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord. Father God, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will continue to use us as you see fit, O oh God, that it would be an increase to this chaplaincy, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit will, be shine, will shine upon our faces, that people, men, women, will see you and your glory in us and be drawn to you, O oh God. And we thank you. Father, we thank you, O oh God, Thank you for your Holy Spirit that leads us and guides us the way that we should go, oh God. Father God, we just thank you. Lord God, now we ask for prayers, oh God, that's so needed in other countries, oh Lord, that's fighting, oh God. I don't even know what the fight is all about, but you know, oh God, all things. And you're able to cease all wars, oh God. And we pray for peace, Lord. Father God, and we pray, oh God, that the benefit of the peace, oh God, will trickle down over here in the other countries and this United States and different cities, oh God. Father God, we pray for the men that are fighting, oh Lord God, that you would be with them, oh Lord, and return them home to their families, oh God, safe. 
Father God, we pray for the women that are running with children, oh God, pregnant and daycares, oh God, that's being bombed, oh God. We pray, oh God. Father God, a hedge of protection over those places, oh Lord God. We pray for the senior citizens, oh Lord, that's in the midst of gunfire. Father God, please protect, Lord yeah. God. Send forth your people, oh Lord, and help to help those, oh God, that are in need. And Lord God, those that are in the midst of the war zone that's falling on their knees, calling on you, oh God. We pray, oh Lord God, that you would hear their prayers from on high and answer their prayers and, and enable them to seek shelter and be safe. Father God, then we pray even for our streets here in these United States, oh God. Yes. Father God, in our communities and in our schools and workplaces, oh Lord God, that there would be peace, oh Lord. And Father, we know that peace starts from within. So Lord God, we pray, oh Lord, that you would uh, bring forth peace, oh Lord God, in these young people and old people and all your people, oh Lord God. Bring forth peace, oh Lord, that there would be peace in the land. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for what mm -hmm. you're doing and what you're going to do and what you have done, oh God. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory. Father God, we ask that you would even go into the nursing homes and hospitals, oh God, and into people's homes that are bedridden and sick and shut in, Lord God. We ask that you would touch their bodies, oh God, because you are still able you're able, oh God, and you're still a healer. Never stop being a healer. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, oh God, that all of our needs are met and we have more than enough. We thank you, Lord, that we are blessed to be a blessing, oh God. Not just financially, Lord God, but Father God, we are blessed, oh God, with the wisdom that comes from you that we may impart in other people, oh God, and spread your word, oh Lord, to encourage, to uplift, and to enlighten. We thank you, Father. Lord God, now we pray, oh God, that these prayers that ushered up to you today, oh Lord, will be a sweet smell in your nostrils, oh God, that you will accept our prayers, oh Father. Yes. And Father, we pray that you will forgive us of our sins. Forgive me of my sins, oh God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, have mercy on me. Have mercy on us, oh God. Oh Father, yes. in the name of Jesus. Blot out our transgressions, oh God. Create yes. in me a clean heart and mind. Renew the right spirit in me, oh God, that I may go forth mm -hmm. and do what that's has called me to do, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory. Lord God, all glory and honor belong to you. For I'm nothing without you, Lord. I'm absolutely nothing without you. I need you yes. each and every day. To lead me and guide me the way that I should go. So, Father God, we thank you. And we praise you, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. All praises belong to you, God. All praises. All praises belong to you, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. Yes. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Savior. Oh, yes. mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Prince of peace. Prince of peace. Yes, you are. Oh God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Prince of peace, oh God. Absolutely you, nothing too hard for you, Lord. We lay it yes, all down Lord. to you this day, oh God. Yes, oh, Lord. Father, because you told us to. You told us to yes. cast all our cares on you because you care. Yeah. And I declare yes. that the enemy will not, will not have us to think that you don't care because we know Hallelujah. you care. And we stand waiting on you, oh God. Yeah. I don't yes. mind waiting on the Lord. I don't yes. mind waiting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Wonderful Savior. Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you right now, Lord God. Yes. Just like an empty pitcher before a full fountain, Lord. We come before you, Lord. 
Oh, kneeling at your feet to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, thank for you, this Lord. day, Lord God. This is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in this day, Lord God. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for who you thank are. You. We give honor to you, Father God. Today, Father God, we recognize who you are and acknowledge yes. Yes. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. And you take good care of us all the time. So we praise you today. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name, Father God. Thank you for your precious son, Jesus. Thank you for his shedded blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, how you love on us each and every day. You got this. You have all control. You know what's happening at all times. You see everything. You hear everything. Nothing gets by you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that you and only you know what's happening. And you know exactly what to do. You have the answers. You have the antidote. You know it all. Yes. So thank you. Thank, thank you, Father. You, thank you. Hallelujah. We trust you, Lord. We trust in you, Lord. We know you, that Jesus. you have everything under control. Yes. We just give you praise, Hallelujah. glory, and honor Hallelujah. today because Hallelujah. of who you are. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can't praise you enough, God. We can't praise you enough. We have to trust you and know Glory. that everything is going to be all right. You said in your words, we have to follow your words. Yes. We have to do your word. We have to trust you. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Thank you Thank that you. everything is all right. It is well. Hallelujah. Thank you, It Lord. is well. Glory be to God. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Most gracious Father, we just praise you and give you all the glory and honor for this day that you have made. We choose to rejoice and be glad in it, Father God. We yes. thank you for the, the joy of the Lord to be our strength, Father God. Cover yes. us continually as the blood of Jesus is shed, Father God. In this time of the season of your worship, Father God, let you be magnified, Father God. We thank yes. you for Jesus' blood that died on Calvary, Father God. Thank Hallelujah. You. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that the ears of everyone on this line are covered and protected by the blood of Jesus, for they hear many things, Lord. Let it go straight through them to your ears, Father God, and cover your membership, your people, Father God. We cover the presidents of every local, Father God. Hallelujah. And we thank you for Region 1A, Father God, Region 1D, Father God, the international and those in authority, as your word says for us to pray for, for so that we can have a quiet and peaceable life, Father God. We trust you for it. We thank you for it. Cover us in the name of Jesus for the angels to go before us and to keep us safe. And we just give you glory, honor, and praise for it in your holy name. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, my soul just say yes on today, Lord. Father God, oh, we God. just want to say thank you. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for how you move on us, Father, each and every day. Thank you, God, for how you continue, God, to make ways out of no ways, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Father, without you, hallelujah, Lord, we just thank can't you. move, God. Lord, thank you. God. Be done, Lord. Let's, we acknowledge you. Hallelujah, God. We ask that you go before us on today, God. Hallelujah. We ask that you open our Lord, 
in the strong and mighty name of Jesus. God, we ask that you show yourself mighty. Show yourself strong, God. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you bind the hand of the enemy, God. Bind the works of the flesh, God. In the name of Jesus, strengthen your people everywhere, God. Strengthen this membership, Father. In the name of Jesus, strengthen our leadership, God. In the name of Jesus, strengthen everyone, Lord, that calls upon the name of Jesus, God. Lord, we just ask that you continue you, Lord, to just bless our children, God. Deliver them, Father, from everything that's not like you, Lord, in the strong and mighty name of Jesus. Deliver your people everywhere, God. Lord, you see and you know God. Everything, God, that is on our hearts, Lord. Lord, you see and you know, God, everything that needs to be changed inside this world and these plants, Lord. In the name of Jesus, God, we just lift it all up to you right now, God. Every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, every baby, Lord. Lord, you know what they need. Father, we just give it to you, God. And we say thank you. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, God, that you are a real God. Hallelujah. We say thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your fire. Bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bless your Amen. name, oh God. Our chaplains, let us do this. Let us do this. The prayers of the righteous avail it much. And we thank God for the women's. And I'm going to let Connie bring us to a close of this portion of the uh, call and we're going to come back uh, 10 minutes left and have our closed discussion. Sister Connie. All right, I'm going to ask if April McCullough, if you would do the closing prayer for us, please. Father God, I thank you for our time that we've had to gather today. I thank you for the traveling mercies you have over all of us that are traveling and the family members that you know need to hear your voice. I ask that you send the workers, Lord. Cover the children with your blood. Keep the heads around them. Keep them safe. And strengthen anyone that needs to feel you today, Lord. Holy Spirit, give them that hit of fire. Burn them up. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 Praise you. Amen. Is that, ba- is that Bailey singing? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Amazing grace. Can we get one of the ladies to do Amazing Grace? And we won't go off the air, uh, but we will go off the call and we will take care of the uh, business that we need to take care of. So, Connie, do we have an Amazing Grace? Uh, Geneva, can you sing Amazing Grace for us, please? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Hallelujah. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but 
now I see. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, now. all right. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.